Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group P second round match between Mongloom and his Necromantic up against Alan76 and his Undead. I can tell you how these two fellas qualified. Mongloom is Spanish and qualified via PC Copa PDM and Alan76 is from the UK PlayStation and he qualified through Gateway to Glory, which is Murder Bowl League, I believe. And here is the table. You can see that both of these chaps lost their first round matches versus Niagara and Dion Lord. Um, so, yep, whoever loses, if there is a loser in this match, the loser will be eliminated. If it's a draw, they will have um, an outside chance of qualifying potentially so a draw they're not dead if it's one wins and one loses the loser is out and the winner obviously has a better chance than if they drawn <laughs> there's a bit of common sense for you looking at the teams we've got the pretty standard block wolves block i'm uh, sorry block wolves guard golems but we've got block fleshies and a sure hands ghoul and we've also dropped a reroll right which is why we've got the sure hands ghoul and why we've got the block fleshies so it's not a normal build but it does have two ghouls and two wolves so you know i i'm not a fan of the build but fair enough and it's a more normal no it's not a more normal undead deal this is the undead build with only two ghouls flip me um <laughs> but i i thought it looked normal when i saw these three guards but then we've got a strip ball white and a wrestle and a block girl. So yeah, this is these are very much non-standard builds between these two guys. Um, if the so the touch the tiebreakers are touchdowns four and then touchdown difference because that's the way it is in the video game. So they're just going by the default sorting system rather than you know so that the tables in the game will will show what happens i think after touchdown difference it's um no no the head-to-head -head is not is not a factor i mean it matters because with three games it's very you know i guess you could have like three people could all win two lose one and then somebody could lose all three. But then versus record wouldn't matter then either, right? So I'd, I'm not sure versus record matters in a th in th in like a three game format anyway. Because if you lose to them, do you know what I mean? Like you're unlikely to be on the same points if you lost to somebody. I guess it's possible, but. I'm not made of maths. Anyway, so he blocked there, he, he went behind. Pretty standard turn, no removals. The block fleshies are a bit better at like basing things, right? Because they're getting knocked down less by block guys, but I feel like guard on them is just so much better. But because he's gone for this build of two rerolls, it makes you want a bit more reliability in them. No. Oh, speaking of reliability, instant one in nine. Quite nice, quite nice colour scheme I think on these under by the way. Oh, God, it's a blotchy a blotchy red. <laughs> and cheerleaders we've got I think undead cheerleaders and goblin cheerleaders. Nice to see. This is a very dangerous cage here with the flesh golem on the corner. Just instantly one dice power, a blockless power. <laughs> Why would anybody? <laughs> Oh wow, into a dub skull. Why would anybody be concerned? Just instantly full power. <laughs> mm. 
not. So blitz him with his fleshy. Run him with a wolf, right? Something you'll notice if, if you're watching Devo and Diamond play, they will really almost always get to blitz with their wolves, won't they? You know, set up so they can get a wolf blitz. And, um, you know, get him safe as well. Use the fleshy, use the fleshies, like blitz into the fleshies and uh, not get stuck if possible. So even after knocking down that flesh, he's still got to bring in and people in. He's still got to knock him down again. I'm freeing this guy to get the guard in. And only a push. And even if you... Oh, you could blitz him with wrestle, right? Oh, a one in nine. Oh, some rough dice for Alan. But he did have four. He won the kickoff event, so... Oh! A nice removal. This is what I hate about wraiths, honestly. This is what I hate about wraiths. Like, their armor eight, and they've got size stuff, and they've got foul appearance, so people really don't want to blitz them, but like, it's so easy to remove them if you do. I don't like this, but I would have definitely blitz with wrestle, right? Because you really, you really, 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 really want to get him down. So, I think I would have blitz with wrestle before moving the rest up. But, um,. Doesn't matter, it works. So that's good. There might still be two dice on the ball here. There's things are possible. Yeah, I think there's definitely ways to do things here, but... They have not been taken. Just gonna pow him. I think there was no need to like, you know, go desperately for the ball either. This is this is fine to be sensible. Strong screen. Get in the way, get the get the wraith relevant. Turn four panic. This this is a weird one, right? Because it's it's kind of a good hit. It's kind of a good trade having your mummy on there, fleshy, just punching him over and over again. But like, it's also not like it's great if you remove him, but then also it's kind of like a bit of a waste of your mummy at the same time. It's a weird one. This is the problem by going so hard over this sideline, he did almost overcommit. Like, he can easily reposition them, so it's not really an overcommit, but because it was like a, a full commit over there, it, he did leave the switch back to the centre very on. Oh, he's going to blitz and then stick the fleshy on the ball from behind. Who uh, misses? Instant one nine and yep the, the wolf would have been in a frenzy trap situation so not hitting with the wolves again not really getting much value out of these wolves is he uh, Mong Gloom big power I mean, it's got mighty blow right so if he if he if he randomly removes that. Especially, it's fantastic. Another one in nine. He's rolled quite a lot of one in nine, says so Alan76. But you know, maybe he's been. Oof. <laughs> he puts in his uh, last reel to get the 55% knockdown, right? Like, like, it is good having block fleshies. It is very good having block fleshies. I don't know how he's getting the score here. I mean, starting off with two ghouls, Kaz, Kaz is not very good, is it? Like, you know, to be fair, this is 
This was not the best teat roster I've ever seen. He's also forgot about this zombie on the floor there. Look, he just forgot about him. God knows how many turns he's forgotten about this guy. Um, yeah, not good. Oh no, it was just last last turn. It was just this last turn that the fleshy based. So he absolutely shouldn't have forgotten about him. Right? He should have gone him back up. Wolf runs over. Over the goo. The 1D lockless lets him punch with a wolf. Into the f into the mummy, which is a bit dangerous. But with no re-rolls, he's got to wait before he makes this hit. Has to yeah, has to do this. Wait, this is a one day. Okay. I've definitely tried to make it. 2D, but wow! I thought he would have tried to mighty blow the mummy, uh, the wolf. To be honest, all the power. Been a uh, great turn that for Alan 76. Maybe he should have been here. Or just definitely should have been there. But this isn't easy, is it? Blisters with a wolf. And do it stops moving. Hmm. It fails there, so easy. Easy score, isn't it here? Just a 2D with block and then score. Get him. Definitely don't want to make any any dice rolls at all without re-rolls. Well, it's turn seven. Still, I say just score here. Yeah, just get it done. Absolute nightmare not having any re-rolls. But this is going to be a two-turn chance for Mon Gloom, but he doesn't have any re-rolls either. So, that's a chance I'd be willing to take for sure. Hello, Jimmy. Champ, 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 champ. No, I don't know what this, what this kickoff is versus a two-turn. This is a very strange way to try and defend a two-turn touchdown. Not what I would have done at all. It's both wolves in as scoring threats. And a block full blitz. I guess he's just going to go and pick up with it. Oh, he's not handing off. Oh, the sure hands fails. So now we can try to uh, power this guy and then two dice on the ball. It's probably what I'd go for because it's actually pretty difficult to deal with this. You can like put a screen in place as your first action because you've got no rerolls. Seems pretty good. Oh, 
so I'm not going to move this wrestler in. Would you take the ball down here? I can't believe he hasn't moved this guy. Is this guy the recovery? No, oh, you should have just moved this a long, long time ago. But yeah, re really, really hard to do this, isn't it, now with two tackles, ones on the ball? I mean, it is possible. scatters it. That could go terribly and it did indeed go terribly. Or oh, this isn't a handoff or anything. Oh no maybe it maybe it was a pass. It was a pass action. And failed the pickup. Right, so there you go. Two turn successfully defended. And now Oh yeah, he's just got four reroll standard because he hasn't got the ghouls. Yeah, I was stupid earlier, wasn't I? I thought he must have won one off the kickoff event, but he's only got two ghouls, so that's how he's got four rerolls. Strange defense here. Oh. Snow. Blizzard. Makes rushes more difficult. Nobody will really care about that. I guess it probably helps the offense a little bit because it will make like speculative ball sacks a bit more difficult. Yeah. Wraith is straight in and the wolf's going to be straight into blitz as well, I guess. I love that animation. Hilarious. Whoa, is that... that? That was the injury, just like really delayed. Just makes it look like he's rushing. He wasn't. Pushes into pushes. Classic. Well, lots of basing here, lots of punches with uh, four rerolls. So not a big concern for Alan making all these punches. Two into a three if he wants it. He doesn't want it. He wants to move that... Uh, Mummy rather than punch with it. I think it's definitely better to punch with it. A million percent, like a million, a, a million percent. He could have pushed this into here, and it, like he's moved, he would have been in this square instead of this square. And to do so, he gives up a three dice hit with mighty blow. That's wild. That's wild to me to not follow there. And to not three dice with uh, like push him there, follow three dice with mighty blow. Wow. I could never have value a square that highly unless it was like you know literally going to lose the game by not being there that turn. And I really don't think he loses the game by these two players being in these two squares next turn It's 
He gets really far forward here. Loves the 1D blitzers. Four dice last turn does nothing. One dice this turn knocks him over. Oh, wow. Goes for that dodge. KOs himself. And, uh... Do you shoot a play, guys? You should shoot a play here. If you haven't seen a play, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven square hits him, chains him up to here, two dice on the ball. Okay, and he hasn't gone for it. I think you have to go for that. I think that's absolutely the correct play. Absolutely the correct play. If you ask me. Instead, we're going to we're going to blizzard rush <laughs> to hit the uh mummy. Wow. The mummy them to hit the wolf with the mummy. Wow. That was that was not what I would have done. But who can say if it was good or bad? One D blitz again. Into a skull into a knockdown and then this guy runs away yeah I like that he might have got away with it there is a strip ball there that can hit him not something you expect to see on a on a uh, white but well, that looks like it's going to get him the score anyway. But I really like my mummy chain play. Cheeky removal. Is he just going to one dice this with a. Oh no, he's going to dodge both. Well, sorry, dodge him to get both. But this is this one or two? Two rushes in the snow, gets the knockdown, pops the ball loose, re-rolls the dodge with a skeleton for an extra square of movement. Wow. Dodge is there, so blitz here, and then try to score. This is double rush in the snow, isn't it? With one reroll. Yeah, stomp. Yeah, he should have. He should have fouled him. Oh, last reroll fails in the end zone. Oh, the tripwire. Oh, the wraith didn't catch it. Never lucky. Man, talk about diced. Can you? What are the odds of that? That's outrageous. Three D except he fails foul appearance. Rerolls the foul appearance. Gets the three dice. It's a knockdown of the three dice. Gets the removal. And now this is looking pretty grim. If it wasn't already, if you if you weren't aware of how bad it was looking for Mon Gloom, that's how bad it's looking for Mon Gloom. Horrendous. The pickup fails, but you know, half his team is is out. So. Most of his positionals. <laughs> um, uh, I don't 
done with these band mode ready, but I think it's better not to have. <laughs> not to have that silly joke for uh, the official cast. Yes, the mummy assists now and then the girl blitzes and picks up. Elliot is not a silly. Oh my god, he dubbed Scold! Okay, so Mongloom's still alive somehow. Flip me. Both sides out of rerolls on turn 14, that's wild. Mongloom just doesn't have a players though, really. Full power. Can't score this turn, but at least that saves him trying to rush in the snow. Fails the pick up. So another chance for Alan to knock down the ball, knock down the goo and secure the ball and kill this game. Do you know what? I, do you know what I? Do you know what I? Do you know what I didn't like? If he fails this dodge, he scatters the ball, doesn't he? So maybe, maybe go there and then there. So if you fail the dodge, at least you'll, right, you could scatter the ball if you fail to, pick it, fail to pick it up. But at least you'll have a tackle zone on, right? So if you go there and then you fail the dodge, at least you don't scatter it. It's still in two tackle zones. So I think dodge to here was better, and then pick it up. You know, I totally understand him going for this in the moment, right? Like, stressful game and everything. Goes for a fleshy blitz. Because I guess, you know, he had the two ghouls left, so one recover, pass it to the other one, score. Made sense to go for the blitz with a fleshy. Fleshies can't pass? Yeah. Neither can zombies. Surf him. Probably should have even been safe moves first, but this is the thing, it? like nerves are frayed at this point, and uh, people aren't playing perfectly. Completely understandable. This looks like non gloom. It doesn't look like he's definitely he's got nobody who can pass in this. Nobody can reach the ball and can pass. So yeah, non gloom is definitely lost. Alan has definitely won. turn for Alan, he can't score but he'll just run run down the field, nearly a 2-0 win um, but yeah, I mean that, that's how he did it <laughs> a million a million kills and that is it, Alan gets the victory, Mongloom becomes the second person eliminated with two losses he is definitely out of the tournament so commiserations Mongloom Congratulations, Alan76. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.